Well, that was kind of a nightmare. So begins the beginning of the end. Did I, did I just imply that there's the beginning of the beginning of the end? I really need to start thinking about these sentences before I make them. Whoa. That went right on through me, didn't it? I should probably wear... I should probably wear, like, actual hunter equipment instead of this, uh... very not defensive equipment. My, my usual goat... Yeah, we'll do, do. We'll do old school hunter garb. Yarnum hunter, maybe? I haven't used the, uh, the OG set for a while. There we go. Yeah! Generation 1 hunter. Any secret... No, well, not secret, but any side doors around here? Nothing at the beginning. Alright. So there's no pre-dungeon dungeon dungeon of pre-dungeon-ness. That's right, I'll just make this language even less consistent. Lamp. And check for secret doors. I'm starting to think that there's just a secret door on every floor of this dungeon. I think I found one on every floor so far. So I'll keep an eye out on this floor. Anyone get- there's a boss chamber. Oh, this is a familiar room. Quite the familiar room indeed. That's a quite familiar future corpse. Oh, whoa. He actually outlasted the first hit. And I got myself hurt already. Way to go me. Why do I- why do I only have 20? I don't know why I only had 20 blood vials instead of 24, I believe, is my actual cap. Weird. And that's how you don't hit somebody. It's a good skill to master early on in this game, is the ability to never hit an enemy with your attacks. You should practice that every day, it'll keep you alive. Or the, whatever the opposite of that means. Any surprises around here? Part of me is a little antsy, I'm like, boss chamber's right there, I can get to that in no time, no problem. How much do I have to do? Every time I see a flat, domed, sort of looking, like, like a... Uh, any, sorry, any conspicuously looking, conspicuous looking flat wall, I always immediately think, that's got the stuff in it. Overhead swing means these guys will never escape from me again. I'm, re I'm really bummed out I ran into that one room that had like seven of those dudes in it, and I didn't think to use my overhead swing. The most obvious way of hitting a guy that's on the ground. That's the kind of variety of attacks I'd like to have with all, the other, all those uh, weapons in Dark Souls 1. Huh, I'm, I already have this door open. I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of even having a one-way door. Oh yeah, you went around the corner for a second and now it's open. Congratulations, you did it. Alright, thanks. Uh, I'll take my cookie. Yeah, if Dark Souls 1 and 2 had all that attack variety, it'd be really handy. Like, here's your dedicated ground, at ground sweep attack for every weapon. Or ground stab attack, just because so, so many of them kind of don't have one unless you do a really awkward jump attack. And I think we're all fully caught up on how irritating it can be to try to attack the uh, various crystal lizards of each game. And while only, not really having a way of attacking ground things. Alright, we have a lot of fog, but not so much enemies so far. They really like this room with the, uh, oh, there's the hellhounds. Oh! Surprise spider. Fuck you, spider. I have vertical swing. Got my hit points back. Alright. Also, well, that ends well, I guess, even if it's horrifying spiders. Any more hanging out behind me? There's four of them on the roof. We'll just have to take it slow and see what aggro's first. Okay, so we have four spiders at least. Hellhounds. Oh, there we go. No! It attacked the wrong direction. Really? <laughs> Uh, we've got most of my hit points back, at least. Alright, we have to take this slow because there's several spiders in the room, but also the hellhounds that shoot fire, and also... that irritating pyromancer lady. Come on. There we go. This seems to be the most... reasonable way of handling this. Why is he hurt? Huh, that spider had already taken damage for some reason. Not really sure what to make of that. Doggy! Doggy. Come on, doggy. Oh wait, I have a solution for this. Stupid. Stupid, stupid head. You've had pebbles this whole game. How'd you forget about those? Kaka! Doggy. Come here. That's right, I remembered about that mechanic that was really important in uh, Central Yarnum and then kind of never came up again, maybe. Finish him? There we go. Nice three-hit combo makes short work of those guys. 
Can I throw pe pebbles at spiders? Oh, there's one up there. I can totally throw them at spiders. That's awesome. Where's he going? <laughs> that spider forgot how directions work. I must, must have hit him right in his uh, balance center of his brain. It's like the little, it's like the little metal pebble that's in the beak of a lot of birds that helps them migrate. I put that right in the middle of his, uh, right in his head, and he didn't know how to go left or right anymore. He just started doing jump attacks in random directions. Fuck spiders. Oh crap! There's some counterattack damage. I recently found out that apparently spiders are like, like have hydraulic legs, and like if you like the temperature that they're in affects how fast they can run. Can I aggro just the dog? That actually works, really? Okay. I'll, t I'll take it. I don't... I'm not sure why she's not reacting at all, but okay. Can I throw a pebble at you now? <laughs> I'm over here. Come look at me. Notice me. Vertical swing. Vertic... Ow. Yep, yep, that's a problem. Gotta, gotta be careful about how fast she is. Hey, lady. Having a sweet old time? Just being you, doing what you do. Is she ignoring me? That will not stand at all. Man, her counter, her uh, her swing is so much faster than mine. I should probably be fighting her with a normal sword. Too late. Problem solved. The solution was her death. What do we have? Is that an item stashed over there? Looks all glowy. Nope. Just candles. My nemesis. I'm looking for a hidden door still. I feel like there has to be one. Nothing on the roofs. There's a weird bulge here. Gotta watch for side paths. Gotta watch for floor panels that have traps. Gotta watch for monsters on the roofs. Oh! Oh! What? 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 <laughs> These spiders are psychic. Also, that's not how my two-handed sword works. Uh oh. Hi. I don't really appreciate your company at all. Wow, they are, uh, all up in my face. At least they take damage quickly. Come here. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I think the red- I'm pretty sure that the summoned red phantoms are always weaker than the normal version of their enemy. Where's Belgardi? Oh! There's also a trap, because of course there is. She's right down there again, isn't she? Where is she? There she is. She's just, it's a little dark and hard to make out. Yep. Oh, that's not how that works. Way to go, me! You nailed it! Alright, now those spiders should cease to exist? Yep, looks like it. Was she guarding the switch? She's guarding some kind of doorway. We'll check back upstairs real quick, just for other stuff. Oh! Let's go ahead and get rid of you, assholes. You think you're better than me? Is that what's up? There's one all the way over there. Is this- can I do anything here? No, it's just a weird tree. What are you doing, tree? Oh, uh, you know, just glowing. The huge. The huge. That's a terrible term. The huge. I, I could. I couldn't bother saying the second half of that word, so I made the first half of the word harder to say. That makes up for it. <laughs> oh, five blood vials. That makes up for most of the damage done by this instance. We have a side door here. Oh, fire paper, Molotovs. They're just stocking me up on everything, aren't they? They use these. Uh. They use these, uh, smoke, the in the incense burners to, uh, mask the presence of all those items in that corner. What do we have here? I still have another, I still have another, a whole other direction to explore in that one ladder room, too. Unless this is gonna be that door right here. This is, so, this, this particular run feels surprisingly expansive. There's a bridge. Is that a whole sewer area? How do we have room for all these areas? That's crazy. This is a pretty big ch- Oh, we, well, we also have the bridge. We have both types of bridge back to back. Now watch me walk out there and it's the giant swamp bridge. Like they just decided to put every bridge in the same area at once. I'm gonna go ahead and run for it. I'll check out un the, un the lower areas later. Where is this leading to? Holy crap. Would you like some more doors with your doors? Hi. Get out. Oh, he's alive. Gotta be careful about that. They, that's how they always get you. Is that the switch? No, that's a treasure chest. Oh, it's a treasure room. There's a whole bunch of treasure chests in here. It's one of those. All right. Try to aggro him and watch out for if there's any other surprises around. He's a regular old truncheon wet user. Yaha! 
You made my classic mistake of being outside of range. Ow. Rude. Dealing damage to me? How dare you. Gemstone. Alright. What's my reward for finding this weird end of the hallway room? It's weird. This kind of treasure room is usually like a secret. But this one was kind of just there. Full of weird statues. I half expect to be invaded or something. Ritual blood floor. Four. That is the thing we needed before. Pretty much set for it now. We need a five for for the is chalice. Wow, a lot more, a lot more four. And to think I thought I wasn't gonna have enough. We hit up to fifteen. So if I do, if I do the ailing Lauren chal chalice, I can then just hop right into the next, or oh, ailing Lauren chalice, I guess. Uh, I need to start stocking up on level five, so I can get into the uh, what's it called? How much do I have of that? I have three five. I need a, I'm gonna need a lot of five four is, which is a big deal. The the is chalice dungeons give you uh, those are how you get uh, blood rocks. So that's the only way in the game, outside of doing an entire new playthrough, to get that one blood rock that's in Kanehurst. I mean, the Nightmare of Mensis. Aside from that one blood rock, you can't get them at all in the campaign. Ah, uh, I thought I was gonna land inside that doorway. Okay. I figured I'd hop down and start exploring these sewer areas. Wow, there's a lot of interconnected sewers here. So I have... is that one doorway over there by the... is that a doorway back there? Wow. That's peculiar. Oh, those are rats. Hi, rats. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Die. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. We have to watch for these guys. We know that they can overwhelm me. So I have a door here, I have a door over there, and I have a door over there. So immediately I have a lot of directions to check out. And still no sign of the switch, so I do have to keep exploring. None of this stuff counts as optional yet until I find the, uh... The main objective. Watch out. There we go. And now here we go. Ah, it's a gloop. I don't even want to fight those guys. They're annoying. They take weirdly long time to kill. And can't really follow you very well. Oh no. Please kill. Okay. They were, get they were trying to get perfectly trapped on both sides of me where every time I swung my weapon I was only hitting one and not the other. I'm like, no, I need to hit them both. They're gonna, they're gonna get me. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the ceiling for the uh, ceiling guys. I'm trying to just avoid them all together if I can. That's five. We got five more blood vials. Cap. Oh no. The one, the one moment I don't look. Oh, there's a snap. I died. Oh wow, it actually killed me. Ah, oh, how far back do I have to go now? Well, I figure it's going to take me a while to re-clear all that stuff. And everything's probably interconnected anyway, so let's just check out the other uh, direction I could have gone in from the ladder room. Also, I already walked in there and got impatient and died against the pyromancer lady and her two dogs. Because I aggroed too much stuff trying to move too fast. And I don't feel like going in there again. Oh, oh crap. I honestly thought that if I just kind of walked away from him, I would stay out of brain. That's the switch right there. Well, I guess that's a, a vote against this all being interconnected the way I thought it would be. If that's the switch right in plain sight, right away. The, wow, just making a slightly different turn was going to give me this. I guess half this dungeon is the giant optional area where you get all the content that we normally have to go into separate doors for. Hit him? Uh-oh, that's not good. This works better for me when I have more stamina. Oh. Yeah, I, I got stamina on, on the... Uh, Let's call it the short list of things that people say I should add more points into. Although they also say to put more points into Blood Tinge, and to put more points into Arcane, and to put more points into Vitality, and to put more points into every single stat, basically. <laughs> Alright, so so much for that side path. I guess I do have to clear past the uh, Pyromancer Lady and the spiders and everything if I want to continue in that direction. Hey Snatcher, you get stuck on all those boxes this time? That's too bad, uh oh. That's not what I wanted at all. Ruin him. Ruin him. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, he's alive. There we go. Everything's always alive slightly longer than I wanted to. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many rats. <laughs> was it really necessary to make so many rats? I thought the metaphor was about rabbits with a breed. Oh my god, there's more of them. 
it genuinely becomes a problem that there's so many dead rats on the screen you can't tell which ones are alive anymore. <laughs> because they're just all these bodies just on the ground rolling at you. Gross. Alright, let's try to walk through this room without walking directly under a trap this time. Be smart about this. That was a, that was a bummer of a way to die. I, I, I mean, I, I knew they were there, so I don't know how I messed up that bad. Ew. It's a giant pile of pigs. That's pretty gross. Ew. I don't want it. I don't want none of it. Let's just avoid these guys and move forward. Are those more pigs? Oh, this is the underside of that, uh, that suspension bridge we saw earlier. This is also not a dangerous floor. Oh, there's a bridge right there. Convenient. I mean, ladder. Other words. Take it slow. We don't want to get surprised by having something jump, drop on us. Scorpion. I think that's the other doorway we've seen before that leads back to the room we dropped down in. So that's worth checking out. Scorpions been, can be kind of nasty. Uh, gotta be careful about this. How did I miss that? Careful. They're good at attacking you while you're attacking them because that little stinger, for obvious reasons. It is a little funny that they shoot poison out because I'm... I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, I don't really think that's how scorpions work. I think the whole point of the stinger is that they have to sting you. It's not like a poison gun. A lot of bodies in here. The, 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 those ones over there are in a weird clump. I would half expect them to like wake up or something as you approach. Since we've seen pile of body enemies in these games before. No, it's just a pile of bodies being all fucking gross and shit. Like the Wailing Caverns. It's like a fossil? That is like a giant fossil. Alright, so that should lead back to the room we came from. Yeah, that's where we broke all the, uh, that's where all the rats died. So I believe that leaves us with just the, uh... The other side of this tunnel being the only thing left to explore... ...in this dungeon before we move on to, uh, the boss. I'm just trying to look in every direction and move slowly, because I don't know... ...when something will fall from the fucking ceiling and kill me. Those things are kind of a bummer. Alright. Am I, am I hearing that breathe, or is there something else dangerous around here that's gonna aggro on me? Try to take it slow. Hello! How's it going? Goodbye. You don't get to do that attack combo very often. It's kind of satisfying when the opportunity arises for a proper backstab combo. A lot of things don't like to get backstabbed, as it turns out. <laughs> Backstabs used to be so easy to bait out, but now you have to do the whole, like, do a fully charged attack against their back in order to do a backstab. And if you don't do that, then you're screwed. So it kind of disincentivizes doing them at all, except to, except in the context of a stealth attack. What do we have here? More ritual blood. How, how much level 4 do I have now? Wow, 18. And I ever thought that I was going to run out. Never found a secret door yet. Oh, that's just bones. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was running through, uh... I thought I ran into some actual threatening stuff. Alright, it's time to see where this boss chamber is going to lead us. Which could be... Straight to boss, or it could be a side area again. What do we have ahead of us? Any doorways? There's a doorway. Alright, maybe we'll find a secret door as we go through this area. I'm pretty sure I found one on the previous three floors, so that's clearly an enemy. It's just so thoroughly not a secret when it's in the middle of a hallway like that. It can catch you off guard in the big rooms that already have coffins in them, but in these hallways it's just kind of silly they try. Oh, it's one of these giant chambers. I haven't seen these ones a lot. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's this one with the, with the, with the ledge. We do see that one a lot. It's the one with the, all the way down to the de de detail of two guys with fire attacks coming out, coming out from the ground. I mean from upstairs. There we go. I was kind of surprised that worked. That was an actual in-combat backstab attack. A little tricky. Have to, have to dodge behind them and have a f sufficiently slow enemy that you can actually dodge behind them enough to do that. Sage's wrist. Hit. Nope. It's the right chunk of wall that would probably have a secret. So I assume that this, this little side dungeon is going to end with us hopping down off that ledge eventually. But anything could be between here and there. Hello. Nice to meet you, sir. Take a nice rest. No, sure, it's sure. Just, just take your time. I'll be here when you need me. Anything else here to attack me besides stuff upstairs? Oh, I hear a bell maiden. It's never a good start. So none of these are doors. These are all weird tombs that look like doors. And these little rituals almost look like they're 
almost looked like there meant to be some kind of weird uh, effigy of a uh, bonfire from the Dark Souls games, which is a w God damn it. I love this big strong weapon, but there's definitely moments where you get you get sort of stuck in a in a feedback loop where it's like every time I swing, their attacks can come faster, and instead of immediately reacting to uh, by doing something different, I'm just gonna keep attacking, which is just how you die. That is how you make the worst mistake. Item, more bullets. Never enough bullets. It's too bad you can't uh, infinitely. It's too bad they cap you at only 100. That you can get like. Something obs obscene, like 600 upgrade items uh, of each type, like 600 bloodstone shards and stuff like that. But then you can only get uh, 100, well, we're on, what, technically 120 uh, blood vials and uh, quicksilver bullets, which you can burn through pretty quickly, considering you can you can carry like 24 of each, depending on your upgrades. Uh, it's too bad that you can't just get uh, way more of those. Like if, ju if just the cap was higher, because then. As as your money becomes easier to get, uh, you could just uh, s you could just spend like a hundred thousand bl uh, blood echoes on a uh, blood vials and just just have just call it a day for a while. So th this is the top part of the room. There's got to be a bell maiden around here because we got attacked by a. Uh, well, that pretty much resolves that. She has to, she has to be in this room past Mr. Molotov that just just fell to his doom. Oh, bell maiden, where you at? Hi. Don't mind me, just just trying to end you. No big deal. Was the guy with the pole weapon also? He, I guess the pole weapon en enemy was also a Bell Maiden character. Alright, where is this gonna lead to? There's so many directions to explore. Alright, there's the loot. This is the loot room of this dungeon. Let's see. He's got a fire weapon. So preferably I'd want to aggro enemies from a distance. And by from a distance, I mean, let's just run straight in. Whee! Ow. Okay, that was inadvisable. Wasn't quite expecting to go down that fast. <laughs> Alright, let's try to be a little smarter about it this time. I figured he'd aggro, but I, th I kind of thought I'd kill the, uh, the little guys before he reached me, and that uh, things would go a little smoother. But he was right up in my face. I always underestimate their sheer range sometimes. Huh. Alright, that was an unnecessary pebble. Oh, they are all here. Okay, cool. Cool, they've all seen me. That's how I planned it all along. Said no one. I don't know who this no one no one fellow is, but he should stop. He should, needs to get out of my let's play and stop saying things. Nope. No. 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 It is, it is. It is so disheartening that they survive by one tiny pixel of health every time. Like no, literally one slight change in gem and you're dead. But I apparently don't have that gem. Actually, I don't know what the last time is I, ch I upgraded my sword. I've been, uh, every time I upgrade a new weapon, I, I put gems on that, just, just for the sake of it. Let's see here, can I pebble him? It's ineffective. Can I pebble him? That's also an option. I just want to fight one of them at a time. There we go. There we go. Hello, friend. I have to be careful about you, because that, uh, that, that fire prodder causes some problems. Let's try to get behind him if I can. That's not behind him. That's, you did that wrong, me. Ow. I got most of my hit points back, so I guess it worked out. Pebble. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Ow. Wow. That attack comes so much faster than I expected to. I think it's because I'm, I'm. I think it's because I'm used to fighting these guys, like the guys with the truncheons. I'm used to fighting them, but they, uh, they, they have, they have a wind-up, because they're using blunt force to hurt me, whereas this guy's just trying to burn me, so he doesn't have to wind up his, his attack at all. He just kind of, just pokes you. It probably cuts the, uh, animation of the, uh, the duration of the animation in half. Chandeliers! I've got a fun chandelier trick to show you guys when I do my New Game Plus playthrough. That I never noticed in a, in a certain old Yarnum location. That'll be funsies. So what's my reward for all this mess? After this, I once again need to go check out another room in the ladder room. Two sages wrist, I'll take it. It's one of those abstract rewards where it's like, ah, this'll be good for future chalice rituals. It's not immediately useful, but it like gives me access to stuff in the future, I suppose. So for that reason, it's handy. And to be fair, that's like, 
honestly, that's like the majority of like loot and items in Dark Souls games is like this opens up a new area, or this might help you one day if you're really care patient or something. Maybe, or it won't. I don't know. Don't judge me. Uh, hey, either of these are secrets. I just want it so bad. All right. This will take us back to tre the uh, ladder room, right? Yeah. And there was a another door here I haven't tried. And I think this is it. It's this and then boss. And this, this is like a 17,000 part multi-tier dungeon crazy area. Which is always, at least technically, possible. No secret. Chandelier over there. Oh, yep, that's the cliff. That's gonna drop us off at the beginning of this of this dungeon. This is where the two fire guys jump down from is right here. So that's it, basically. Just gotta kill this dude. Get out of here. You have any secrets? Are you guarding anything, or are you just here to waste my time? Because I think you might have been just here to waste my time. That's it. Alright. Anti-climax final room. I'll take it, though. So now it's time to see what the big dastardly villain is that they put in the fourth floor of this area. When it's, that seems to be abnormal, that there's a fourth floor on this particular dungeon. I don't think that normally happens. We'll see how it goes. Who do? You, first of all, who's going to be this boss that that we have to fade after Rom the Vacuous Spider? Let's go ahead and unequip the pebbles because I'm not going to use that. All right, we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, of all people, Rom the Vacuous Spider, a mandatory story boss was on floor three, and then there's someone that's after him. Granted, we've had a couple anticlimax uh, final floor bosses. What is that? Is that the Cleric Beast? It looks like the Cleric Beast, but also not. Oh! No, God, he breaks things. He breaks things? Yes, he does! Ow. Ow. Okay. Good hustle. Alright, buddy. Here we go. Roll! Ah, oh, I rolled too early that time. I thought I was going to die right there, actually. <laughs> Come on. Man, he moves fast. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, physics is getting weird. That. What? It's funny. You can be, like, right on his legs, and he still manages to hit you with his fists. Oh, fuck. Hello, my nightmare. Nice to meet you. Nope. That's me fucking up immediately. It's usually a bad starting point for the fight. Quick hit. Wow, that was the grab. More or less saw that one coming that time. Oh, there's the grab again. Going for that back leg stomp a, a lot. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! What do I do about that attack? I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, every time, like... The, the Basically, whenever he doesn't do that attack, that's when I have a good attempt. Fuck! He's comboing me. Uh oh. <laughs> that was an awkward grab to dodge. Alright, he's got a broken... He's got a damaged leg. Did I hit him in the head that time? I'm not sure. Quick heal. Get behind him again. Get behind him. Watch out. Getting a little hard to tell what's going on right now. Oh, he tried to grab me again. Who's a big nasty boy? Oh, that's the slam. Come on and jam. Oh, god damn it. Which way is he facing? I gotta heal. That's him healing his head, probably. Oh, I tried to go for the head. Kind of hard to do without any practice, because I'm, I'm exclusively attacking his legs in this fight, basically. Huh. Oh, nope. Careful. Come on. Don't you want to take more limb damage? Isn't that what, what gets you off? Ow. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. More limb damage. That's what you like, right? That's what the kids are into these days. Uh-oh. Now I'm in trouble. He knocked, he knocked me out of his... Completely out of range. Run for it. 
I hit something. I hit so much things. Careful. Crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! I can't see anything now. Shit. Shit. No! Fuck, fuck, fuck! <sighs> I thought I had it. I thought I had it, but then he's like, he like stunlocked me against the wall, and I couldn't see anything with the camera, and I'm like, I can't. I, I thought I had it, and I can't. <laughs> hey, asshole. How's it going? Roll. There we go. Early roll successful. Watch out for that. Stay in it. Leg range. No! What? I didn't even see his. Oh, no. I apparently rolled instead of attacking. I don't even know how I managed to, like, mess up my controller that bad. Uh oh. Oh, well, that's over. See you guys next time. There we go. Successful dodge is a good start. Uh oh. St stuck in front of him is a bad place to be. How's it going, buddy? Huh? Huh? Welcome to Weird Hitbox Land. This is where hitboxes go to die. Get behind him. Come on. Oh, that's a miss. That is a miss. Get behind him. God damn it. The what's rough is he takes that one step back that makes it like that dodge it makes that attack weirdly undodgeable. Oh, there's a stomp. Watch out for that. Come on. No, he grabbed me, didn't he? Fuck. How do I keep track of all these moves? I just don't know how. Oh, just to taunt me, I'm gonna still be alive, but I'm gonna die, of course, in a second here. Before I can do anything about it. Oh, no, I'm still alive. I haven't died yet. Oh, tried to grab me again before I could even heal from his previous grab. Ah! So many goddamn attacks! Headshot, right? Oh my god. Oh my god, headshot! Fuck you! Holy crap, there's some damage. Especially with the visceral heal. Oh man. Those are hitting him in the head's no joke. Apparently. Come on, wound him everywhere. Okay. Yeah, good luck understanding what's happening on the screen right now, but everybody. Uh, okay, stay behind him and heal. No! Bad. Bad! No! God damn, no! Fuck, fuck, get behind him. Heal like fucking crazy, like so much. Fuck. What? I was behind him and he hit me with a ground pound. What is the hit? That thing just hits you everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's the fucking homing ground pound. It's, this guy, this guy just seems so mad at me. <laughs> Why is he so mad at me? Ow, I hit him in the head again, that was fun. Let's get out of here! Here comes a range attack. Alright, run behind him. Alright. Oh, come on. No! Come on. No! No! That's so bad. No! Quick heal. No! Fuck, 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 fuck. No! No, 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 no. No! Uh... Come on, recover. We're so close. Arcane, I don't know. I don't know, man. Please get behind him real quick. Just real quick. Shit. Shit, he hit me. Shit, he... No! No! Headshot! No! Quick heal. Huh. Get behind him again. If that was a dodge, I, like, jumped in the air. <laughs> Fuck. No, 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 no. Quick heal. Quick heal. Get behind him. Get behind him. Fuck you. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Run away. Quick heal. Uh... Fuck you! He, what? That, like, not hurt him? What the fuck? What the fuck? I shot him with the face of the cannon! Hit him! Die! What the fuck is happening? Die! Holy shit! I was like, how do I hurt him? <laughs> I shot him in the face with the cannon and he didn't take damage! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, he gave me 15,000 souls. That's like one of the shittiest amounts of souls I've gotten from a boss, I think. And that's like the hardest... That's probably the hardest boss ch in a chalice dungeon so far. That's kind of a bummer. Oh well, asshole's dead. Huh. <sighs>
I need a break. So yeah, this floor and boss took me an hour and a half to record. I... I think doing two different Souls games in parallel is taking a toll. <laughs>